Hey you guys, we're back in another pocket chip video and this one's going to be a smaller video or a smallish video. Today we're going to take a look at how to run uh, Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe on uh, pocket chip. Now this is an open source version of Transport Tycoon and it's fairly simple to install as well. You just simply want to open the terminal, do a sudo apt get update and we go from there. Now there's a couple of things I want to talk about since using pocket chip last time. Um, the past couple of times I've used Pocket Chip, the touchscreen has been slowly getting less responsive, and I don't know if that's going to be a major problem, or whether it's just a, a, a small um, issue that will rectify itself, but the touchscreen sometimes is really unresponsive, even after wiping over. Uh, there may be a little background noise, because I have got the fire lit today, uh, as it's bloody cold. But anyway, we're going to take a look and we're going to do a little bit of gameplay here as well because I know people um, would like that. So, first off, we're going to open the terminal. We're going to want to get an update, which is sudo apt get update. All these commands will be in the description or the, co or the comment section below. And uh, the next is just sudo apt get install. And it's open TTD, and it's all lowercase, which makes it a little easier for us. And that is the command, and it should look something like that. And if we press enter, boom. Do we want to install this? Of course we do. So we press Y, and we press enter. And as this installs, yeah, we're going to do a little bit more gameplay today. I know most of my videos are tutorials, and as the such, uh, or as such, uh, the, I don't do much gameplay after we've installed the item itself. So today we're going to do a little bit more gameplay on the back end of the video. And, uh, you know, if you guys prefer that and like that, please hit the like button below and comment below that you do like or you would prefer to have more uh, video time on playing the games uh, and stuff that we actually install as opposed to just installing them and working up to that point. Now I'm away for a couple of weeks but don't let that deter you from uh, sticking around because I will be actively commenting on my channel and there will still be videos going up uh, scheduled over the next couple of weeks. So some of it may be uh, some new stuff, some of it may be uh, a combination of things, but I'll figure that out over the next few days. I am going to Cyprus, I'm only going for 10 days, so it's not like I'll be gone for too long, but I think that's two videos I may need to do uh, whilst I'm away, so I'll make sure that they are sorted for you guys. And if you guys want anything else done before I go away, then please do comment below, because like I say, I've only got a week left now, and then I'm off to Cyprus for like 10 days, so... So, uh, yeah, I won't be around other than on my comment section uh, whilst I'm abroad. Now, as you can see, it's a fairly longish install. These things are quite long installing nowadays on Pocket Chip, and uh, currently we have no, we actually have no progression when it comes to the the drivers uh, for the GPU yet. They're still on the fence, so we're still running on fumes right now, and we're still probably maxing out a Pocket Chip and what it can do right now, which is kind of frustrating for everyone. I did get a new phone last week too, which Vodafone ripped me off for. I got an iPhone SE and I got a new case for today, which I thought looked pretty sweet. Yeah, get that. Get that. It looks pretty cool, right? I like the way it's got the uh, space logo going around the Apple. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I got I got it, uh, and there's my dog. Got it last week. Like I say, it got ripped off because I had to pay, pay to end a contract, then I had to pay for the phone, and then I had to pay, now I have to pay something like £40 a month just for this. I mean, kind of annoying, but it's a really quick phone, really enjoying it so far, uh, and i got my YouTube Creator Studio on there, so, like I say, I'll be I'll be keeping an eye out for you guys if you're commenting on my videos and stuff. I've also started my therapy last week, so I got that again today, which is, to be honest, it's kind of annoying, I don't really like it, it's, it's just talking sessions, I don't think I need to do that. I had an interview, but didn't go too well, and that was last Tuesday, so I was kind of glad about that. I mean, it went well, but I didn't get the job, you know, so really freaking annoying. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get something soon. And there will be more coming up on Chip as well. 
I haven't been doing much on chip because there's not much I can do on chip. Chip is essentially pocket chip, and pocket chip is essentially chip. So the only difference is the UI, but hardware-wise and 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 firmware and, and what the potential each one can do is virtually the same. So we've installed it now. It didn't take too long with me rambling on for the for the whole entirety. If we press open TTD and then we press enter. Should boot up nicely. Now I'm unsure if sound will work, but we can always try it, right? Device is ready for connecting. Right, hang on a second, guys. Axi mode. There we go. Axi mode. <laughs> Fucking Chinese speakers are excellent. Right. So you can see now we've got the screen uh, on here, and to be honest, um, it's actually pretty responsive. The touchscreen is is a little unresponsive. Uh, I can see this becoming a big issue though, <laughs> needing a pen or something because a lot of the stuff is quite tough thingy. But let's put this in and see if there is a thingy. Yeah. Right. There is sound, but it's intermittent. Uh, can we change these? Can we change the sound settings? Let's have a look. Um, no, not there. We can't. What about if we go to game options? Uh, 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 configure maybe. Nope. Nothing there. So it looks like sound-wise, it's almost there, but not quite. And that's not due to my speaker, by the way. That's just due to the property rendering the audio. Be pretty cool, though, right? If we could get sound. Let's start a new game and see if it, see if it changes once we're in the game. So start a new game. And here we can see we can choose what we want map wise, we can choose what date we want, etc. etc. Uh, only a fallback sound set was found. If you want sounds, install the sound set via the content download system. Okay. Okay, maybe we don't have sound set, but fair enough. So we can just keep it. We can keep it as, uh, as it is. I've never played this, so. I don't know, we'll see how quick it generates a map, and we'll see if we actually get any sound once we fly. No. It's still the same, but you can see we're almost there, we're almost there. Um, right now, we've got all the icons on the top, and I've never played this game, so I'm not entirely sure what we're doing, but let's find out. Hey, Jesus. This is going to be tough, so we've got grass, we've got bus routes... Or buses. Where do we find the normal build stuffs? Why is there no tutorial? Okay. So you can basically see that everything sort of opens on top of each other. It's not a huge problem. It's kind of annoying having to figure out. Okay, we're paused right now. Apparently. Do they not have a tutorial in here? And none of the, the arrow keys do work as well, which is pretty cool. And if we press enter here, we get nothing. If we press the back key or the escape, we get nothing. Uh, Q gives us landscaping. And, uh, yeah, W, yeah, everything gives us landscaping. You can see that that actually works. Um, we're actually changing the land right now. So... I don't know quite how to start start us off with with transport tycoons. I'm guessing I'm going to need some roads, right? Now we can actually we can only use the arrow keys to move around, so we're going to have to just plant some roads. It's not as easy as you'd hope it to be, and it is kind of a little glitchy. Or is that just the way it looks? I don't freaking know, guys. So if we Get out of here. I want to build me some roads. So if we build some roads, what have we got here? A road depot? That sounds like that sounds like a good idea. Oh Jesus. Not a good idea. So it's actually really quite hard to play with, without a stylus. Uh, if we use something 
<laughs> and I'm going to use this, but hey, screw it. Yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference, to be honest. There we go. Why are we not uh, joining up like we did there? We're not freaking joining up. Can't build a road here. Oh, fuck you too, bitch. Okay, let's try and... Let's go back up to the top here. Can, is there any way we can escape? Settings. Oh, perfect. We'll take one of these. Yeah. Good idea. So we can change towns. And we can buy shit. But you can see now we have a sort of town semi-built. Well, I always thought these things would auto-join up. But maybe I'm not pressing them right. I don't know. I don't actually know what I'm doing, that's the bad thing. I've never played I've played Zoo Tycoon, I've played Roller Coaster Tycoon, not played Transport Tycoon. So I have not got a clue where to start on this game. I mean usually you get like little missions come up and you get told maybe I just because I pressed the generate button, maybe that's what did it for me. Okay, and the thing is, the escape button I don't think it actually escapes, um, which is strange. If we pressed maybe control escape, nothing. So anyway, guys, it's a little bit of a longer video than than I wanted anyway. But uh, I showed you a little bit of gameplay here. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, and uh, I'm starting to open a million windows, but you get the rough idea. You can play uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon on. Uh, Roller Coaster? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can play Transport Tycoon Deluxe, uh, the open source version at least, on your pocket chip fairly well. I'm sure with a stylus, I could probably get used to the controls, um, but everything works quite nicely by the sound, so you, you know, just don't plug in any headphones and expect to be blown away by any any sound because the sound isn't rendering quite well um, or quite as good as it should be but other than that it all works nicely guys so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you did hit the like button if you didn't hit the dislike button and please comment below as to why you didn't like the video and uh, I shall see you next week with another video cheers